Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm here with today's daily free pick. Um, I just did an amazing video for you guys, which is this video I'm going to do right now. Only I didn't hit record. Yeah, go me. So I'm back here for take two. Um, finished up yesterday, one and two in college. Uh, we went one and one in the morning. We issued a 2.0 pick in the evening and we lost that unfortunately. So we went one and two for the day. But we're back with uh, a great pick in the NFL today. And we're only issuing one pick today, guys, but it is a good one. There is tons of value on this. And I'll go on a limb and say, I love this pick. Now, before I tell you what the pick I love is, I have to reiterate something for the 10th time, probably. Bankroll management, guys. I've just said this is a pick that I love. Okay, And you guys are going to find picks that you love. You're going to find games that everything points to one side of the game. But you guys probably know what I'm going to say already. Bankroll management, guys. Okay? It's so, so, so important. And I will continue to preach bankroll management until I stop receiving messages telling me how guys, you know, lost a few games and blew up their whole account. It happens time and time and time again. If you want to be successful at this long term, you need bankroll management skills. If Vegas offered zero juice, they would still make money. Two reasons. One, they're good at setting lines. They're good at getting people to bet the wrong side. And number two is 95% of the public has terrible bankroll management skills and they will eventually donk off all their money to Vegas. And Vegas knows this. So we're not going to be like them, guys. We're going to exercise bankroll management. So even though I come out here and tell you I love this pick, we're going to exercise bankroll management. Now, that being said, for me personally, this is going to be on the higher end of what I would play normally. So, quick recap, bankroll management, guys. You're a recreational player. You're going to add some money throughout the year here and there. You can bet up to 5% of your bankroll per game. That's the maximum. Doesn't mean you have to bet that every time. That's your like top pick. Okay? You're professional better. And I shouldn't have to tell you if you are a professional, but I'll throw this out there. You're one to one and a half percent of your bankroll, guys, because that's your livelihood and your living. And if you burn up your bankroll, you got to go to the job. So that's it. One to one and a half percent. And you're aspiring pro kind of, we'll call it semi-pro, someone aspiring to be it, but you know, still has another job, but they're dealing with large bankroll. You guys want to be around 2%. Okay. 10%. 20%, 50% of your account, you cannot win long term. Okay. You cannot handle the variance and you will lose. I promise you that. I promise you. And if you don't believe me, it'll be an expensive lesson for you to learn, guys. So please heed my words. Control yourself, bankroll management. I was there, believe me, before I did this, like, and I got into doing this like professionally, I don't know how many times I blew up my bankroll. And I wish there was someone there that told me these things because you really need to hear it, guys. And, you know, I spent three minutes already on this video, like trying to hammer this message home because it's so, so, so important. You know, that's rule one, two, three, four, five, and six of sports betting, guys, is bankroll management. Okay. That being said, love this pick. Let's dive into it. Okay. So we have the New England Patriots going into Miami playing Miami Dolphins. We saw what happened last week. New England Patriots, you know, dominant. And they didn't even have Brown in their lineup. You know, the latest report said Brown's traveling, he's probably going to play. That's a huge boost for New England, even better than last week. And then we have the Dolphins. And we saw what happened to the Dolphins. They got absolutely annihilated. Like, I mean, like, annihilated. They didn't even show up to play. So very, very one-sided game in, in both games. So here we have, you know, a lot of public money coming in on the New England Patriots, you know, and I get it. The Patriots, they rock, you know, they, they played great last week and, you know, we're looking at Miami and Miami played like garbage. So we're going to look at a couple numbers here. So looking at it from the Dolphins side of things. When you have division dogs, this is going back to 2003, so a very, very large sample size. 
but you have division dogs early in the season. So we're talking first four weeks of the year, getting less than 50% of the money. They cover that spread 62% of the time. Vegas does a great job in September, like a really good job. So under 50% of the money, which right now Miami has less than 50% of the money, they're hovering around 40%. They cover 62% of the time. So now the second thing I'm going to throw out there is when teams who missed the playoffs in the previous year. So when you enter teams that missed the playoffs, that's typically indication of subpar teams. Okay. When they lose their previous game by 26 or more, when they bounce back after that, they're 76% to cover the spread. 76% to cover the spread. So teams that lose by 26 or more when they miss the playoffs the previous year, they come back 76%, guys. That, that's a huge number. I don't have to tell you guys that. In the last 10 games like that, the last 10 games where a team missed the playoffs and failed to cover the spread by 26 or more the previous game, you know what their record is in the last 10 games? 10-0. and 0. Not bad. I mean, again, that's a small sample size for that specific stat, 10-0, and 0, but... 10 and 0 kind of tells us something. So if you haven't guessed yet, and you guys really need to listen to this next part because it's compelling. But if you haven't guessed yet, um, we're going to be on Miami. We like Miami in this game. So we're going to be on Miami plus the 19 points. But here's something that's really, really compelling, guys. And this is in, in, the, in the past 15 years of football in the NFL. There's only been eight times where there's been a dog of 18 points or more. Only eight times. It doesn't happen much in the NFL. Of those eight times, believe it or not, the Patriots have been involved in five of those times. But let me tell you the record where there's been an underdog who's been 18 points or more. That underdog covers seven and one. Seven wins, one loss, okay? Because the NFL is not built for spreads that high. And teams should never have spreads that high. And what we're betting on is not only the Miami Dolphins, but we're betting on history today. Because never has a team covered a spread of 17 or more going into another team's building. These are not college teams. They're not kids playing ball. All respect to the college players. These are professional athletes. And professional athletes don't let other teams come into their building and trounce them at home. So, we're going to be taking Miami plus 19. I know some of the books have it at 18 and a half, but I, I think a lot of them have moved to 19 because that money keeps coming in on New England. Um, so, that's it, guys. We're, we're betting on Miami and we're betting on history that no team has ever covered a 17 point or an 18 point plus spread going into another team's building. And just a side note for you guys, of the eight times in the past 15 years where there's been a 17 point dog, the New England Patriots have been the favorite in five of those eight games, which is amazing. I mean, it goes to show how great New England's been for such a long time. But five of those eight times, New England has been the favorite and they've never covered the spread. There we are, guys. There is a ton of value. We're contrary in line. We're betting with history. And we love this game. Bankroll management. Guys, thank you very much, as always, for the support. Really, really appreciate it. I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck today. And uh, that's it. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.